Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this vlog. We're going to Tulum, Mexico for a little sister's trip. I'm getting ready to pack everything up. I'm in the midst of packing up all my tanning, clothes, food, products, like everything I'm about to bring on the trip and I figured I'd just go ahead and start the vlog. This is my second time going out of the country and I don't really travel much like for vacations, but I'm so excited for this trip and it's honestly so crazy like looking back how my mindset has like changed toward trips because I used to like not like traveling. I was a homebody. I wanted to stay home, but it was because I hated getting out of routine and I hated like not being able to eat my healthy foods, do my workouts and like now I'm in this like mindset where it's like it's completely okay to travel and enjoy life. I used to struggle a lot with eating and getting out of routine, which is why I'm so excited to mention the sponsor of this video called BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapist platform that connects you to therapists and lets you match to the therapist that fits you the best, which is something that I wish I had when I was younger because I did go to therapy for my eating problems, which therapy helped me so much, helped me get back on track and now like allows me to travel and just enjoy life while living a healthy, balanced life at once. It would have just made things so much easier being able to do therapy online while I'm doing school and volleyball and all that stuff. It was a lot trying to find time to go to therapy. Going to therapy for your first time can be very overwhelming and a lot. So I'm really happy there's a platform like BetterHelp now that allows people to access therapy so easily and find a therapist that fits their needs. Because I had to try multiple therapists before I figured out one that I actually liked and like enjoy talking to. So if you're going through something like I've gone through or really just struggling in general, feel free to use the link in my description. You can get 10% off your first month of therapy. And if you don't connect or like the therapist that you used the first time, you can always switch. They make it super easy. It's super accessible. So take advantage of that. Now let's get into the tool and vlog. Good morning, guys. We are in the Uber right now on the way to Tulum, Mexico. I'm so excited. We literally just sprinted down the stairs, already in such a big rush today. We planned on leaving at 7.30, and then at 7 a.m., my sister's like, you know, I think we should leave at 7.15, and I'm like, I literally just rolled out of bed and had so much to do. But we're in the Uber, we are on the way, and we're gonna be just fine. We just got a little stressed out about customs because it could take a little bit longer. I'm literally so excited. <laughs> Let's do the damn thing. Ah! We've been at the airport for like five minutes and we're already really confused. <laughs> okay, I think you go up and I go to the economy check-in. The start of our TikToks. What? How do we do it? So like, you go over there. Okay. Three, two, one. Two, one. You're off. She's not the best at TikToks yet. We're, we're getting her there. <laughs> Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. It's time to go to our gate. I feel like Star Starbucks in the airport is just a necessity. We got an iced mocha with almond milk. You're you're a chugger on your Starbucks drink, aren't you? I'm a chugger. Yeah. I'm usually, I'm like half chugger, half sipper. I kind of take my time. Ah <laughs> we ended up getting to sit next to each other, but it was a huge fiasco. It was literally a disaster. There was a lady in my seat, and I had to like tell her she was in the wrong seat, and she like wouldn't accept it. And the flight attendant was so done with our shit, but we ended up, there's a family together now because we switched seats, and now we get to sit together. Three and a half hour flight though. She's in her TikTok earlier. Folks on the flight deck, uh, we're passing an error. We're a little bit concerned about the possibility of turbulence. We're going to ask that you remain seated with your belt securely fastened. Oh no, I hate turbulence. Flight tents, please take your jump seats and walk. <laughs> oh, I completely missed it. Third time's the charm. Also, <laughs> almost. We've made it. The flight was very smooth, a little bit of turbulence, a rough landing, but now we're in customs. We are counting down the seconds so we have a drink in our hand by the pool. Got the bags. Yeah. 
Yum. Done home. Thank you. First drink. Mm. Wait, this is so good. The allergy stabbed me. Okay, so already we already put your paper. Put it in there. Put it in there here. Okay. So. Smack, put it next to your heart. Okay. So now repeat after me. Yumbo Tikesh. Yumbo Tikesh. Yum Silesh. Yum Silesh. Then ready to leave something bad, something negative. You wanna say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Hablas un poco de español. Poquito. Poquito. Perfecto. Perfecto. Oh, okay, I love so... that. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's so nice. Ah. What is that? Wow. <gasps> That's chocolate. Wow. That's berry. They literally gave us this like chocolate thing. Mm. Mm. Okay guys, I'm literally obsessed. This place is amazing. We just changed into bikinis and we're gonna go out by the pool. We're gonna get a little marks. And get a little drunk. And yeah we are. Mm. I did a new little hairstyle too. My hair was not cooperating, it needs to be washed. So we did a slick back with a, a braid. I'm on one and a half drinks. My third one waiting for me. Four playing. She's fingers. so dumb. She's on two. She ha she's on one and a half, and she's got her third one waiting. No, this is. I've had one. Two and a half. And this is half. This, I've had half a one, so I've had one and a half. I haven't had two and a half. That is two and a half. No, it's oh. not. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm the dumb. Shots? And we we're like, uh, sure. We're not gonna say no. Sure. So they just gave us shots, and then he was like, another one. And we we're like, no. And, and Alexa, they poured another one. Alexa was begging. No, I was not. <laughs> Literally brushing my teeth, and my sister's like, here, hands me her drink to take a step. I'm like, I'm a good fucking big sister. I'm brushing my teeth. Also, look at this bit. Mm, 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 mm. I love traveling. Okay, we're about to take pictures. Pictures right here. Like, yeah. This way. Yeah. Whoa, it sounds like a monkey. You're not gonna. No. Go look over there. Look how bad the lighting is. I didn't even take a picture. Oh, yeah, that's awful. That's okay. Horrible. We gotta find the right lighting. Come right here. Why is the lighting great where the background's ugly? We just went to the hotel dinner because tonight was kind of a chill night. We're just getting settled in and we're gonna go out tomorrow night. So we're having a chill night and eating at the hotel. Apparently it's really good food here. So I'm probably gonna get the salmon because I love salmon. And yeah, we're gonna have a good little din din. This is the dinner spot. Got a little chips, pita, guac, and hummus. Yummy. Dinner. Octopus. I'm gonna be so hungry. 
Guys, it's so humid out. Every time I walk outside, the camera literally starts fogging up. Like, it just keeps getting foggier. Okay, so we got up, did a quick little workout this morning. We went and got breakfast. The food was so fresh. We got an omelet with vegetables and a fruit plate. We got coffee, green juice, literally so good, so fresh, amazing. Now we got ready. We're gonna head to the beach. The hotel has like complimentary bikes, so we're just gonna get those. And it's like a mile from the beach, so we're gonna bike a mile to the beach. Spend the day there. We're packing a little bag in case we want to stay at the beach and eat dinner. So we're bringing like makeup, clothes, and stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little sister beach day. Yeah. Excited! Ooh. That was our worst idea yet. Sweating so badly, we just bike so far. Locking our bikes up now. Anyways, we had a little quick photo shoot there. <laughs> So that bike ride was like the bike ride from hell. There was literally construction. The pavement was so uneven and it was like 100 degrees, literally dripping sweat, like pouring sweat off of me. My white cover up, ruined, done for. But we made it to this super cool beach club and it's so cute, so fun. We just ordered some margaritas. They also have a DJ. Yeah, they have a cool DJ. Wait, 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 wait. Nice camera. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you guys from? They just came up to us and they were like, can we get a picture of you guys like for a promotion for a beach club? And we're like, sure, why not? That's what we're good at. <laughs> so that's why they were taking pictures of us. We, we didn't ask. That's a good tequila. Oh. Okay, we're trying to practice the thing where it's like boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then you like run into the water. That's like trending on TikTok. So we're practicing right now, but it's like not going well. We're practicing without the sound first. So all, this hand first always. You're right. Ready? Sorry, Are you looking? My food. <laughs> Ready? Boom. She gets distracted so too good. easily. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> She's gonna like actually punch me in the face. I was Ready? thinking about it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, Chica. Dami Capitani with Dami de Marijuana. Chocolate. No, thank you. That was probably really good. I think that was drug chocolate. It probably was like marijuana brownies. Marijuana. <laughs> Why did I say that? My sister goes, if we had any ounce of rhythm, it would be over for the world. It was. We literally don't have an ounce of it. Okay, ready? Okay, it's gonna start like a like. We just went for a dip in the ocean. And now lunchtime. We're having a great time. <laughs> We're about to bike home. The bike home should be better because it's not as hot, but we shall see. Braid my hair too. We're gonna go go home, get dressed for dinner, and then come back out. Okay, so we're now getting ready to go out tonight. It's like 8.30. We just spent the whole day at the pool. And we got into a sister fight. Yeah, we got into our first fight. It wasn't that bad because it was a misunderstanding, but it was a fair. It was a fair fight. It it was, uh, we were literally screaming at each other on our bikes on our way home but from the pool. But we couldn't hear each other, beach. which I think was the real problem. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> um, hold on, let me find my concealer. Okay, I thought I just lost my Tarte concealer. Literally was in panic mode. Like, I know, she wanted to it. blame me. I was, I was on the edge. Basically, I stopped because my feet were in so much pain. Like, I could not ride this bike because my feet were in pain. My Which legs she were in told pain. me this in the very beginning of the bike ride. And so I was like, oh, she knows. She knows I'm in pain, right? Like, 
whatever. So then I'm like, dude, I have to stop, which she didn't hear, but I stopped. And at this time it's like seven, eight o'clock. Like it's dark it's pretty, in Mexico. It's pretty dark. It's getting dark. And I'm like sitting here and I'm like, okay, I'm going to adjust my bike seat. I'm going to put it up because it's wait, pretty wait. low and my, my legs defense, are burning. We stopped one other time and I thought that's when I put my shoes on. So I thought she no, was no, putting that her was, shoes on. That was the second time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The first time I stopped, I was like, okay, I'm going to raise my bike seat because my legs were burning because my bike was so low. So I was like, I'm going to hire my seat. So lift her seat. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. So I was going to lift my seat and I couldn't do it. Like it literally required a screwdriver. So I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. I have my flashlight on, but I can't hold my flashlight and my bike at the same time. So I'm struggling. And I'm like thinking she's gonna come back. She doesn't come back because she thinks I'm taking pictures, which I mean, makes sense. Like that's what I do. But like I wasn't taking pictures. So I was annoyed. I was like, why is she not coming back? Right? <gasps> what? No. Mm. It spilled all on my back. I was like, what's this brown shit? Mm. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I got mad because I thought she was leaving me and she got mad because I thought I was just trying to take pictures when she just wanted to get home. So we both were mad. Once we communicated, we were like, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's cute. I love. Yeah. But like, we were literally on the side of the streets, biking home, like screaming, blah, 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 like literally screaming at each other. Or should I wear my linen pants with this? Let's see the linen pants with it. Uh, and then I literally was like debating. I was like, oh, screw her. I'm not going out with her. Like, I guess I'm <laughs> staying in. And it was eight o'clock. This is it. Mm, I think I like the other thing better. So the cute. matching were, I like the pants, but I think the other thing went better. I wasn't as comfortable in it. Oh, you weren't? No. Okay, well, it matters what you're comfortable in. Girls, always wear what you're most comfortable in because that's what you're gonna have the most fun in every single time. If you go out and you're like, oh, I don't look good, I feel gross, this, that, whatever, you're not gonna have a good time. And you're gonna think about it the whole fucking time. The whole night. I really like the gray top, though. I like the gray top better. As a whole? As a whole. That's like a cute vibe. Like I love the vibe together. I think I like that outfit better, but for what we're doing, I think you should wear gray. I think gray looks better. Okay. Like that's like a, we're going to explore Europe vibe. All right, we have, we're leaving here at, yeah. I don't like the sound of that. I'm nowhere close near ready. Clock starts now. You got 30 minutes, that was 10 minutes ago. We're leaving at nine. She's always rushing me. Isn't it crazy how sisters can fight like that and then literally five minutes later, we're literally fine. But we do really well on communicating. Yeah, we are very good at communicating. Like after it happened, we we got in another little baby fight and then we sat down and we're like, let's talk about this. Yeah, like we were screaming at each other in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. It wasn't screaming, it was like loud arguing. Yeah. We were screaming on the bikes. Yeah, on the bikes we were screaming. I was like, but, literally but she was behind me, so I ha we had to. We kind of had to on the bikes just so we could like simply hear each other, but also out of anger. Crazy how big of an aspect communication is in relationships. Like, no matter what relationship it is, the older I get, the more I like realize that it's crazy. Oh, this, right? No, I like the gray better. Really? Yeah. What's happening? I don't think that red goes with the linen. Like the linen like makes it like business and the red is like let's party vibes. I like gray. And every relationship, like the better your communication is, the better it makes your relationship. Well, like and that's why like fights are like okay because like they help teach you how to communicate with the person that you love. Breath <laughs> time. What about this? Should I put the skirt on with it? Ooh, I wait, I kind of like that. What skirt? The pink skirt. Guys, we also booked an excursion tomorrow. I'm, I'm so, so excited. I'm so glad we did that before we left because like what? We were gonna do it now when we got back? No. No, I love having fun. Me too. 
Yeah, I really didn't want to go to bed, but I was like, well, I guess I have to. No, I wasn't gonna let you. Yeah, you were like, I'm going out. Do with that what you want. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, well, I want to come with you, as I'm like mad at you. I was gonna make you come out. <laughs> I was like, no way. I'm a big egger on. I'm like, I'm gonna leave you. Do with that what you want. I actually haven't realized that about myself until just now, but yeah, I do do that. I'm like, mm. But I never actually do what I'm gonna say I'm doing. And time to outfit change out of this robe. Here's my fits. Hot, 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 yeah. hot. I feel like Belle. <laughs> I'm literally trying to vlog, but it's so humid my camera will not stay clear. We're at breakfast right now, so I'm gonna show you the spread that we've been getting. We had a rough night last night. We're struggling right now. We really need coffee. It's also, we have an excursion today, so we need to revive quick. All right, taste test. They give you fresh honey with that. And granola. I love doing the dip. Mm. Oh, good. We also got a fresh green juice. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was like shaking. We didn't have dinner, so we really needed food in us. Ace, so we, we didn't. We literally had a salmon salad for lunch, which was so good, so fresh yesterday. And then we just had a lot of tequila for dinner. <laughs> Not our brightest idea, but here we are. Danielle has water stuck in her ear from swimming last night, and she thinks putting her head on the concrete putting is here. It's a thing, I swear to God. <laughs> She thinks it's gonna like unclog her ear if she puts her head on the concrete. I'm gonna go debunk this right now. <laughs> it has to be on like a hot piece of concrete. All right, let's see. No, she's not. <laughs> Ooh, this place is cool down here. We haven't even been by the pool yet. Is it working? It's not hot enough. <laughs> <Not myself. laughs> Thank you. It's really good. Better than yesterday. Yeah, like the little potato things we got better yesterday. I do too. I was thinking that. We have an omelet, potatoes, black bean dip. I literally ate it so fast. I was starving. No, I'm still eating. Let's do it. They sent me the confirmation number and it's this uh, Alexa. Yes, that's Alexa. Alexa, is that you? That's me. Her? Yes. And then Danielle. Danielle? Yes. Oh. Uh, Very close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, Daniela. Yeah. Right. Nice, that's nice. Excursion. Day, but it's all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shot before the excursion. <laughs> Wasn't that not that bad though? I've had worse. Yeah, exactly. It's mm. good. All right. On the rock. Okay. That absorbs the water. All right. You no, know, because in the Mayan jungle we get rain every single day of the year. Wow. So we need you to be careful. Okay. One by one. Slowly. Yeah. Watch your head. We're almost there. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, these are steep. Yeah, they are. See surprise. <gasps> Danielle's literally wearing heels. Patients we see in the cenote, they have a name. They're in the roof. They're friendly ones, okay? Wow. They eat the mosquitoes. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little baby one. I forgot to vlog the beginning of dinner, but we are at this amazing restaurant. It's overlooking the ocean and it was just absolutely stunning. It's like lightning right now, but it's so cool. And let me just show you the view that we're sitting at right now. <laughs> like look at the lights and the ambiance. It's so pretty. I truly it was like a Thai cuisine and it was so good. We got dumplings and tofu egg wrap, or what are they called? Spring rolls. Spring rolls. <laughs> and for appetizers, I got this chicken and rice and vegetable dish, so good. She got like mango shrimp or something. Uh, pineapple shrimp. Pineapple shrimp. 
the food was amazing. And then the waitresses came up and they were like, here's a complimentary dessert. And it was like, um, <laughs> it was like a coconut mousse with like fruit and toasted coconut on top. And it was so good. It's called mezzanine. And it's in the national park actually in Tulum. So we like drove through that and it was like all jungly and off time tonight. Resetting tomorrow's our last day in Tulum. So we're probably gonna go to a little beach club. Have a time tomorrow. So stay tuned. Good morning. It's our last day here. I swear vacation always flies by, but we're gonna do a little workout in the gym. And then we're gonna have ourselves a day. I think we're gonna go get us an Aussie bowl somewhere because everything here is so fresh. So I feel like the Aussie bowls will be so good. We may lay out by the pool a little bit here, get some content, and then go to another beach club and have ourselves a day. I put I put more tanner on last night. This is what this is what it's like being a redhead on vacation. You have to put tanner on. She also tried to sneak out of here way too early and not bring me to the gym with her. Well, she was asleep, and she was just saying how she wouldn't sleep in. She wasn't going to wake her up. That'd be rude. Also, look at my sister's bed. Yeah, we're Coco and Eve fans. No more Bonnie Sands. Like, hers is orange. We both put Tanner on last night. Yeah. Uh, I guess I have a little spot right but there, but it's literally like nothing. Yeah, I was literally, I was about to sneak out, and all the lights were off, and she was like, good morning. I was like, good morning. I'm going to the gym. And she's like, okay, turn the light on. She's like, oh, you're going right now. Because I was like, oh, I'm ready to go. walking around naked. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, like, up and at them. Let's get it. because I didn't sleep the best. I slept with my jaw clenched the whole time. Um, but now I'm feeling a lot better and I'm ready to get our day started. So this is your sign if you're feeling bad, unmotivated, just go get a sweat in. Just do it. Just do it. So we're at a beach club right now. We, um, we paid $75 to get in, which we didn't know that because I don't understand pesos. But we're gonna make the most of it because if we're paying that much to get in, we better have fun, right? This one is crazy. Second shot of the day. I feel like the wind's literally about to blow the crown. Not make my hair look like a. What is this saying again? It's like abajo de cintro. Put the salt on there. I cut so much salt. Are you fucking joking? What are you, iron deficient? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, ready? You're gonna lick all that? No, I'm just gonna take a little smidgen. Ready? Okay. Abajo de cintro. Arriba. Okay. Abajo. This intro. Arriba. I think I just did it out of order. You do salt, tequila, no. I did tequila, salt, lime. That was no, I did tequila, lime, salt. That was way worse than the first one. Yeah. The first one went down easy, but not that one. Oh, we also got some amazing food. We got pita bread with hummus, feta. We got some sushi, but we've ate most of it already. So it's our last day, so we got to make the most of it, right?
I literally haven't been to sleep today. It's like 5 a.m. right now. I don't know how I'm functioning. Mm. Uh, we're back home. Today has been exhausting. Although we did not go out last night, I literally couldn't fall asleep last night. And I stayed up till 4.30 a.m. until our flight. And then I fell asleep on the plane ride back for like three hours, which was amazing. But now it's time to unpack this big suitcase and just get back into routine, start working out, eating good again. And it was a nice little vacation. This was such a fun travel vlog and I'm starting to like love making little YouTube videos. It's so fun to capture these moments. So hopefully we'll be doing more travel vlogs soon as well because this trip has made me just realize how much I love traveling and how much more traveling I want to do. So thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.